Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the Oni with Thrifty Divas. This is part two of several more to come of some more organizations and some little tips and tricks and gadgets that I enjoy in my home. Okay, so one of the first things I did over here, this pink is Hennessy stuff, but in this black bucket, I labeled it travel books and travel packs and activities. And in here, it's kind of these grab and go packs so i figured anywhere anytime we're leaving for somewhere just grab one for my son to have with him and this drawer right here just fyi i got it from a thrift store years ago and i love it i keep all of our plastic bags in here it's so cool um so yeah so that's one of the things i put together and in case you don't know where we are we're in the coat closet Another thing I have done that makes me super happy is put all of my coffee filters onto this napkin holder from Dollar Tree and it tucks right in and is easily accessible. I actually did this when my spine injury was at its worst and I physically could not reach down anywhere else to get them. Okay, now in this wicker mini trunk slash basket box, whatever you want to call it, um, I separated everything into those jot button bags. Sorry, I have a child playing with a remote control car behind me. Um, so this is all educational workbooks. These are the bigger bags, the ones that are a dollar each. And then this is more educational workbooks. This is random uh, letters and numbers and stencils, big stickers, stuff for him to work with. This is actually big black plastic letters and numbers they're extras that we got with our lighted house number yard stake signs and it came with so many letters and numbers and they're big black plastic ones if you can see that so i said let's save those for some educational uses and then in these bags what i was telling you about is this is where i put all of his flash cards in there and then here is that uh, learning activity I created with the crafters square stuff with the wooden letters and numbers for sorting so those are in here as well and then I used this caddy that came with his black and decker tool bench where I put kind of like newer stuff that's like not out of its package just to kind of keep it nicer in there and this closes up very well as well to hide. So this is just gonna kind of become a decorative piece almost. Then over here, let me just show you, I got this huge five shelf bookshelf and it was originally for me to have all of my cookbooks on all five shelves and it turned out my son took up three of the shelves so i fixed that i got rid of a lot of books that he was too old for um but i did limit him to one shelf of books right now because he's gonna get more book storage upstairs in his bedroom when his new dresser arrives big long story i'm gonna convert his old changing table into a bookshelf and stuff like that but anyway for now then I took these bins and labels from Dollar Tree, and this is all coloring books and nothing else. So those stay in there. And then in this bin, we have all of his board puzzles in those pocket pouches that I was so excited about. So they stay right in here nice and neatly I can't put it back with one hand okay there we go I have to figure out what to do here still but this is his like bigger stuff that doesn't really fit anywhere else so it might just have to stay here I don't really know but you know the fingerprint uh, finger paint paper and the big extra large coloring books and stuff like that but for now it is what it is and it's it, it'll it'll work for now and then this space is reserved for more cookbooks when I get them, yay! Um, and then I do have all of my cookbooks on these first two shelves and it's not even full. And then I decided to put all of my spiral bound little ones that we get from DT 
in this gold metal basket that is also from Dollar Tree. And this way it only takes up this much space and they don't get all caught up in each other and all of that because of the spiral bounding. And it would, you know, right away take up that much space instead. So I like them contained in this little basket. So that's the cookbooks. So here on the corner of my TV console, I have all of Hennessy's toys and things like that in this one little wooden bin. Then I purchased this leather trunk with a lid and we have our throws in there. And then these are my decorative pillows for my couches. And this is where we place them when, kind of when we're sitting on the couch <laughs> so we don't ruin them. You know, they're just for show, whatever. So that's where they're stored in the interim. And in here on the bathroom cart, if you saw that video at the beginning of quarantine when I put this together, but now I decided to put a potty chart stickers all in one nice neat place and it's technically kind of waterproof but yeah those are all his stickers to put on his potty chart when he goes potty another thing i did way back was add these large command strips to the inside of my cabinets for my son's bibs so they have a nice neat place now let's get down to more of the nitty gritty. So I did put some of the decorative cookbooks down there. Then I have all of my son's movies in here. Down at the bottom shelf in this pretty basket, I put some card type games, those little cube games from Dollar Tree and just little things like that in this pretty basket. And then those are my puzzles back there. And then shockingly enough, right now, I was able to put all of my son's painting things in this little bag. That's amazing. But yeah, so just for now, that's that. And then the little cut egg cartons I use for his paint. And that's it, just in that little spot. And then if we move over to the other side, here's the real nitty gritty that took like a whole day. Okay, so this I still have to decide what to do with, so that's exciting. Then I organized all of my son's things into these pocket pouches. So everything is separated into very specific category and now everything has a spot. How exciting is that? The special sets is things that has pieces, you know, like felt pieces or whatever. That's special color wonder stuff, marker and papers. And then his water beads, his packets of water beads that a friend sent him. That is all in there, nice and tidy. And we still have to decide what to put on the top. Then for this stuff, I just found this cool Reese's bucket and I just decided to do it almost like classroom style and put all of his loose markers and crayons and whatever into one big bucket. At least they have one contained spot and they're all together. So that works for me. Let me show you this super cool thing I got from Amazon. So I have this love with the paw print wall sticker down here by Tennessee's stuff. This is, I pick, I saw an ad for Chewy with this and it said, did you feed me or something like that, which I like a lot better than this one. Um, but this is a pet feeding reminder and you can just, you know, check off when you feed them so that if you live with somebody else, you guys are constantly asking each other, did you feed the dog? Did you feed the cat? Now you just have to look. So here's her food. So as soon as I feed her, boop, or my husband feeds her, just click that on. So I'm loving this. It was $8.99 off of Amazon. It has four little magnets on it, but then it comes with two double-sided foam stickies for the wall, which is what I used for this. Another thing I decided to do was since we always keep a separate set of cleaning supplies in the upstairs bathroom for the upstairs bathroom, I decided to put them in one of these little clear acrylic bins from Dollar Tree. This way they're all nice and contained and it's invisible. So just tuck that right behind there. 
and then just keep the toilet brush next to it. Another thing I did was add these crystal clear command hooks, these decorative ones, and I ordered this off of Amazon, guys. Oh my gosh. So these are magnetic curtain tiebacks. They were $15 for the set, but I have these beautiful silk drapes because I do have a balcony outside of my bedroom and a sliding glass door. So well, on cool nights, or if I just want tons of sun, but on cool nights when I wanna pull the curtains back, I've opened the door, pulled the curtains back, and throughout the night they close up on their own again. I don't know why. So I needed something good and something that wasn't also going to wrinkle my curtain. So guys, look, it's magnetic and it works amazingly. Okay, the next thing we're going to get into is this area right here. So I do have a basket in here currently. Don't mind the dirtiness, but we're organizing right now. So I do have a little basket in here right now as to not have it a, you know, a black hole in the car. Um, but this one did break and it's getting messy anyway. So I just picked this one up from Dollar Tree. I actually compared it to the one I already have in there in the store and it's just slightly bigger so hopefully it's not a problem so the first thing I'm doing is taking this sticker off which luckily comes off no problem and as you know first thing with any organization get everything out so we're going to pull this whole thing out and then we are going to redo our new basket and we can't redo anything without cleaning it. So now we will. And I'm just using one of the driver's choice protectant wipes from Dollar Tree just to clean this area out. One thing at a time, right? The rest of the car is filthy, but whatever. Oh, I've got more stuff stuck up in here. It's great. All right, so this area is all cleaned out now. Now let's just go ahead and redo our basket. I'm just going to be working on my lap. I hope that's okay with everyone. And my definites are ibuprofen, tension headache. <laughs> this is my little kit that I always use from, it was 97 cents from Walmart, nail file, nail clippers, and a really good tweezer. Um, so that I always like having handy while I stop at red lights and stuff. Um, this is, you know, for the, the phone vent holder thingy, a, a chapstick. Cough drops, uh, are these dried out? These might be dried out from the heat, I gotta check. Yeah, they're dried out. All right, so some cough drops, and as you guys know, most of you, I am a smoker, so we gotta put those lighters in there. Oh, and before we do that, let's do it right, make sure they work, because what's the point if they don't, right? I think four is good. And then I actually made up this little thing. Um, this is allergy medicines, just to have, just in case I don't have one. So that's it. So now I'm gonna slip this back in here and then make sure my phone charger is on top of it, which it is. And there we go. Tuck this on the side as well when it's not in use, and that's it. 
Now this keeps everything really nice and organized, even in the car, because why not? And people forget about their car. So, all right, that's one more little thing to add to our list. All right, several of you asked um, for me to show this when I do it. So I went ahead and used a uh, white paint marker to write downstairs on this chalkboard tag and I attached it to the handle so that's on there already and then I happen to have what they call jute ribbon it is absolutely gorgeous I think um, and I picked this up from my private my, my favorite privately owned dollar store that is not currently open but anyway um, so this is what it looks like oh my gosh that is gorgeous and what I decided to do was um, I'm gonna go right up top I don't know how even it's gonna be or maybe I'll go here I'll try it here and what I noticed is that there's two in between every big one so I don't know how straight this is gonna turn out but I'm gonna go ahead and thread it um, no that's not how I want it I want it on the outside so how do we do this Hmm. Oh, dirt. Okay, so I go from the inside. See, I always show you guys real stuff. I don't edit it out to make myself look all fancy. Nope. You see my thought process and my stupidity. It's great. All right. All right, that worked for the first one. Now what? Now what? I guess it's not going to work. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess it'll have to be on the inside of every other ones. I don't know. But I don't know. All right. I guess that's the only way I can do it. All right? Every I guess unless I don't thread it I don't know guys I am so confused <sighs> all right so now I have to decide do I just glue it I feel like maybe just gluing it looks nicer right I think it does all right, so we found out together. That's why I like doing this. I'm just gonna glue it on the outside because I don't, I don't want that much of that showing like that. So. Yeah, I like that better. I like that better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, kind of place some hot glue around here in spots and trim this. All right, so we figured it out together. <laughs> and I just feel like it looked a lot better just going straight around. So there we go. And I just dressed that up a little bit. And now it can be a little part of the decor but again just a catch-all to bring things down to the lower level of the house and i just dressed it up a tiny little bit so that's that all right here you go guys and here it is in its little spot by the tv console Okay, so for this one, I splurged. This was around $40 off of Amazon. This beautiful wicker stair basket 
with handles and now I can place this on the stairs for anything that has to go upstairs. The downstairs got a basket, so the upstairs needed a basket and now we have easy places to put things that need to go to a different floor. Last thing for this video, if you remember, I bought this wall protector for doorknobs as my designated egg cracker. So this is where I crack all of my hard boiled eggs. It's right over my garbage can and I love it. So that does it for part two of the organization, guys. If you missed part one, make sure to go check that out. And there's most definitely a part three, maybe a part four. Until the next video, stay blessed, my friends.